eye. This time I'm going to make a painful look using eyebrow waxing strips. So this is going to call, be called eyebrow waxing gone wrong. So first I prepare the wax strip to make it less sticky. I use a baby wipe to do that. And as you guys can see, one eyebrow is thicker than the other. Um, I did that because oh, you will see in the you will see it in the end video so you have to to wait a little sorry I use a eyebrow pencil to draw on an eyebrow on the strip and then I'm gonna remove the makeup of my eyebrow so I've got a clean skin to work on makes it stick a bit better I'm gonna use a Meron Sin Wax to create this look Make a little sausage, like so, and push it on, like so. Press it on. I press it on. Uh, the, the, the sound you hear in the background of this video, I'm sorry, but it's my fan. It's really hot. <laughs> Again, so there's some wind blowing. Um, I use a bit of Vaseline on the top of my hand to dip my spatula in so I don't have to dip into the jar over and over again. And I use my fingers and a spatula to model it the way I want it to be. Then you get something like this. Nice and shiny. So we're going to use the setting powder from Meron to remove that shine and eat a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Then I take my normal regular face powder to blend it in a bit more. Then I'm going to use the sharp edge of my spatula to carve the eyebrow. You just start very carefully. We don't want to cut in our eyebrow. In a real skin, like this. And again, I use a bit of powder to remove the shine. Voila. Then I take my Anchor Blot Palette and a sponge to start building up the color of the of the wound. Can you imagine that you rip off your eyebrow with a wax strip? Ah, oh, that would be so painful. Just building up the color. Ooh, my camera does a wonky thing there. <laughs> Looks like I'm underwater. I've got some music on, so sometimes I goof around. Ah. Singing along, moving along. And as you guys know, special effects makeup is supposed to be fun. Right. I think it's about enough bruising. Oh, I, it just poked in my eye. Great. And uh, with a sponge dipped in alcohol, it's um, no fun. No, oh, it adds to the look. <laughs> and I take a small detail brush and start to build up the color inside the wound. Just using some reds, a bit of black, a bit of brown, but mostly reds. Oh, it already looks painful. <laughs> Don't forget to do the edges. Go back and forth with uh, my a brush and my sponge. To create this nice nasty look 
Yikes. Yeah, it's me singing along again. Be happy that you don't hear it. <laughs> and I'm going to continue with the preparations for the wax strip. Of course, I'm going to use a little bit of a blood on it. And I'm going to use the makeup um, blood gel dark number two. Just dab it on. It's just a prop. Just adds to the look. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay, let's see if it's about right. Yep. So, this is the blood gel I talked about. Uh... I'm thinking here, what, mm, okay. Okay, just a little blob of blood gel in the wound. Just to build up some structure there. Before I add some blood. Like that. I don't know why it looks so. Mm hmm. Gives a nice shine to the wound. That's something that I wanted to have. A little, nice little shine. Then I'm going to take. some more blood gel and to pop it on and then we'll see voila yeah that will do the trick then I'm gonna use my mold lives aged blood to finish off this look now you can use as much blood as you like I chose to go for the middle way not too much but not too little Make sure that you cover the edges. And I'm going to take a baby wipe to smudge the blood around for a more realistic look. Let it drip down a little. Ooh. Again, smudging it. wasn't happy with that so I needed to fill that in again you can also use your fingers those are the best tools you have and there we have it thank you for watching see you next time